Siberian Amethyst Hey viewers, this week's video is about the legend. The legend? Yes. It is Siberian Amethyst and we all know Siberian Amethyst with strong purple colors. Today there are not found so intense colors like in the old days, but um, they also found some very nice pieces of amethyst in Siberia. I have some of these crystals, often they have wonderful rainbows in it. Look at this, very intense rainbow effect here. I want to show you how I use these rainbows in a gemstone. That's always a very nice challenge, because you see, in this case, I choose a rainbow here close to the outer surface of the stone. We want to check if we can use it or not. Here you see there is also a rainbow. I found a lot of these rainbows in this material, so it's also interesting. Okay, not for a strong color like in the old days, but um, it is pretty interesting, especially for aesthetic cabochons. Simple cuts. Okay, let's take a closer look in better lights. You see we have some interesting inclusions in it. Give it a chance. Look that you can get some pieces, very interesting material, it's not very expensive, I'm sure we can cut very, very cool gemstones out of it. Okay, why I choose this light, because here you see, we have a big crack here, and a bigger crack here. Maybe we can see this from another direction, a little bit here, here you see. There's an internal crack and a very big one here. So we have to cut or saw away this material here and this material here. Our focus is on the wonderful rainbow here. We have to see a dark reflection in transmitted light. Here it is. There you can see it very good. And I want to use this area as the top of our stone. You see we have not a lot of material for our dome part here. After the sawing when we cut off these pieces we check which form we use for our final gem and hope that we can cut out an aesthetic shape which means we build up a nice symmetric dome. That we have this reflecting inclusion here with the beautiful rainbow on top of our gemstone. Okay, now you will see the sewing process in time lapse and after that we check the stone and see what's possible. Okay, finished sewing process of our Siberian amethyst crystal. You see, cut off this uh, big cracked part here first. After that we cut him here, because we also have a big internal crack in it. During sewing I see, or I became the idea to cut this crystal in a half. We can cut two stones. Here you see our piece with the dark reflection inside. That's the rainbow. Nice challenge. Also you see we have a very 
interesting part here with a lot of tiny rainbow reflections and some cool inclusions. So I decided to cut two stones, made a cap out of this piece and a cap out of our plant. Here you see it, rainbow piece. This piece here, our special piece with this rainbow inclusion, you see the rainbow inclusion right here under the surface of the top of the crystal. We use the highest point of this crystal at our center point for the stone and work out a nice round shape at first. After that we take a look that we work out a symmetric dome out of this material here. It's a small stone but it is a very interesting stone. Now let's check also this piece here. Here we have the rainbows on this side, which means take a look that we have this area in our gemstone. Okay, now the preformings. I think I can start on the 120 grit hard diamond disc. If it is too aggressive, I change to the 240. You will see this in the time lapse. Now enjoy the time lapse and we take a closer look at our preforms and see what's possible. Okay. back with the rough preforms of our Siberian amethyst with the cool rainbows. We have a lot of inclusions in our stones but also you see we not have a lot of color in it so the inclusions make them more interesting and especially this inclusion here. We see a, a, a big reflecting inclusion that's the big rainbow we want to set in the top of our cabochon. Also we have here in this zone some tiny rainbows we want to use and some interesting 
cracks, inclusion. And the next step is I use a 600 grit hot diamond disc to cut out all of these ugly scratches on the surfaces. To cut out grinding lines, we take a look that we cut our surface near 100% round. Especially we take a look that we have a near 100% symmetric shape on our stone. And after that I start to using soft pads start on 600 grit. If you have any little scratch or grinding line on your stone, the soft pads will cut this out. So that's the reason why I start on a 600 grit soft pad. Work up to a 5000 grit soft pad so you don't see any scratch on the surface in the direct light reflection on your stone. With starting to use soft pads, the surface of your stone starts to shine. You can use the direct light reflection on your surface to spot little scratches and if you have inclusions, they come up to the surface. They get in more and more invisible for our eyes if we go up with the grids. So that's also the reason why I cut them to the 5000 grid pad. For the polishing, I use my hard felt disc with alumina works pretty good for quartz. I ordered also some cerium oxide, brown cerium oxide and some French white cerium oxide. We also would test these both types in later videos. Okay, now first enjoy the time lapse of the final setting, the pre-polishing and the polishing and when the stones are finished our Siberian amethysts here, we check our final results together. Okay, now enjoy time lapse mode.
Okay, look, mission complete. We've catched two really beautiful and strong intense rainbows. Every stone got a beautiful big rainbow inclusion. Look, also you see we've got a very good polishing on our stones. In the transmitted light of our light table, we can see these rainbows as dark reflections. Okay, now let's uh, change to the light table so we can take a better look inside the stones and I can show you a little bit more of these inclusions. Okay, now we are on the light table and I have a cold white neon lamp here. What I want to show you is here, look, we have a very nice rainbow reflection also here in this neon light, it's a cold white light, but now turn the light on. Okay, let's take a look. Here you see that's the reflecting inclusions where we have these rainbows and here you can see a color zoning, striped color zonings. Very interesting result, very cool material. The Siberian Amethyst was popular because of its intense strong colors. Best colored amethyst in the world. Often people talk from Siberian Amethyst when they have a super colored piece. But uh, what I want to show you in this video is the Siberian Amethyst today has also a very attractive side. Especially they have very clear areas. They remind us on the clear water of Lake Baikal, the air of the Siberian winter, and we have these super intense rainbow inclusions. If you like inclusions, or especially rainbows, be sure to get some of these wonderful Siberian amethyst crystals. Really worth it, very cool material. Yeah, a nice slightly color. Look. Okay, let's check the oval piece and here you also see a reflecting inclusion where we see the rainbow here in the transmitted light we see this as dark reflections we have this rainbow here we have some small rainbows here. also some tiny ones here in this formation of interesting inclusions here you see very nice material I can highly recommend it when you love rainbows or especially gems with inclusions, give it a try, really, really cool material. Thank you very much for watching my video, hope you had fun and gem cutting with me today. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Turn on future notifications if you don't want to miss a video. A lot of new content is planned, testing, carving, a lot of cool stones, a lot of interesting material. And if you like this video, please don't forget the thumbs up button. You know, it is always great help and also a strong motivation for me. Okay, now enjoy a little slideshow. Have a nice week. Bye bye.